Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. Today we will be going through Boyle's Law. So, first thing we need to talk about here is what are the variables in Boyle's Law? And remember, Boyle's Law is a gas law, so it's how the variables in a gas relate to each other. So, Boyle's Law deals with pressure and volume, and the idea is what is the relationship between them? Well, think of a bike pump. If you press down on a bike pump, the volume of the air goes down. What's going to happen to the pressure? It increases. Volume down, pressure up. And the same is going to work in the reverse. If the pressure goes down, the volume is going to go up. So this is an idea where one variable goes up while the other goes down. This is called an inverse relationship. All right. Now, the formula for Boyle's Law is this. We start with P1, or our initial pressure. We multiply that by V1, or our initial volume, and that's going to equal, on the other side, our P2, or final pressure, multiplied by V2, or final volume. Now you can see here that in the case of, let's just say the pressure is going to go up on one side, the pressure has to go down on the other side. right? So if one goes up, one's got to go down. That's the only way that this formula is going to work. All right, now, let's keep going. Absolutes, what do we mean by that? Well, any of the variables in gas laws have to be an absolute. So there you go. When dealing with gas laws, all the variables must be an absolute. The cool part is volume, we're good. We don't got to do anything with volume. And pressure, this is what we must make sure we're an absolute. Generally, when we're dealing with the pressures, we're, generally, we're dealing with uh, pounds per square inch gauge, or PSIG. And we've got to change that to absolute. So here's how we do that. The formula, absolute pressure, is equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric. Now, we'll get to that in just one second. But absolute pressure, we say, is PSIA, gauge pressure, PSIG, and atmospheric, PSI with a small a, and we generally say that's 14.7 PSIA, and that's at sea level, and that's the general number we use. So we got to take our gauge pressure, add 14.7, and that gives us our absolute pressure. All right, so now what we can do is we can go to a question. There you go. So what we need to do, step one, write down the formula. We're dealing with pressure and volume, so we're dealing with Boyle's Law. Step two, and this is the important part. If you do it this way, you can never get it wrong. Write down all the variables, and then start to fill them in. So the initial pressure here is 30 PSIG. Now we have to put that in absolute, so you need to add 14.7, and the number we're going to work with in the formula is 44.7 PSI absolute. Volume, like I said, is already fine as it is, so it's 12 cubic feet. That's volume 1. And pressure 2, that's what we're trying to figure out. Volume 2 is 7. So now we have all the variables taken care of. We just got to plug them into the formula, all right? So once again, what we're trying to find, oh, step three, what we're trying to find is P2. And what we need to do is say P2 is equal to what? We've got to isolate that, and there you go. That's transposing that original equation. And there's another video I have if you want to learn more about transposing, if this is the part that uh, is a little tough for you or you find uh, challenging, you can take a look at that video. But now at this point, it's simply this. Plug the numbers in. P2 is equal to 44.7, that's your P1, times 12, divided by your V2, which is 7. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. You get 76.6 PSI absolute. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute. What, do, what is it in gauge pressure? How do I get it back to gauge pressure? Well, you just do this. You take your absolute, and remember in the beginning we added the 14.7? Just minus 14.7. And there's your gauge, 61.9.
Okay? That's all it is to this. It's straightforward if you follow those three steps. You can never get this wrong. All righty. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys. I uh, hope you're doing well with your studies. Take care and have a good day.